والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome to a new episode of your show in the light of the Quran. Today, inshallah, we have some verses uh, from Surah Ibrahim, and they talk about something we really need to pay attention to. Now, many people, because of missing this point, they what they do, they commit the ultimate loss and the ultimate sin, and they lose their lives forever. This thing talks about the human responsibility. Every human, resp- human being is responsible for himself. Every individual is responsible for his own destiny. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from His generosity, has given us the choice. You choose where you want to end up. You want to end up in paradise, you will end up in paradise. You want to end up in the hellfire, you will end up in the hellfire. It's up to you. You will only get what you present in this world, what you, f- what you do in this world. And many times people lose control and they give the leadership or they give the control over themselves to others. So others lead them to destruction. But still in the hereafter you will stand before Allah by yourself. No one will defend you on that day. You have to defend yourself. And you will be held responsible for your own actions. Even though it might be the fact that somebody else led you astray. The question is, why did you give them, or why did you let them lead you astray? Why did you do that? Allah has given you the uh, control over yourself. Allah says, كل, uh, بَلِ الْإِنسَانُ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ بَصِيرًا Every person is a watcher over himself. Every person is responsible for his own choices, and for his own actions. So nobody can say today, or oh, somebody else led me astray. It doesn't help you. That's not an excuse. And this is actually one of the tricks of shaitan. So those verses talk about this. We will recite them and hopefully we will be able to get some light out of them. So as usual, we will start with the recitation and then we will reflect on, on their meanings. A'udhu billahi minash rajim أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ إِنْ يَشَأْ يُذْهِبْكُمْ وَيَأْتِ بِخَلْقٍ جَدِيدٍ وَمَا ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِعَزِيزٍ وَبَرَزُوا لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا فقال الضعفاء للذين استكبروا إنا كنا لكم تبعا فهل أنتم مغنون عنا من عذاب الله من شيء قالوا لو هدانا الله لهديناكم سواء علينا أجزعنا أم صبرنا أم صبرنا ما لنا من محيص وقال الشيطان لما قضي الأمر إن الله وعدكم وعد الحق إن الله وعدكم وعد الحق ووعدتكم فأخلفتكم وما كان لي عليكم من سلطان إلا أن دعوتكم فاستجبتم لي فلا تلوموني ولوموا أنفسكم ما أنا بمصرخكم وما أنتم بمصرخي إني كفرت بما أشركتمون من قبل إن الظالمين لهم عذاب أليم وأدخل الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات جنات جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها خالدين فيها بإذن ربهم 
تحيتهم فيها سلام Now those beautiful verses from Surah Ibrahim really draw our attention to something very important, something very serious. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first says to us that don't you see that Allah created the heavens and the earth in truth? That this universe is created for a purpose. It's not created just like that. It's not created for you to enjoy enjoy yourself and live here for a short time and then depart and that's the whole story. No, it's not the wisdom behind the creation of this wonderful universe. It's created, everything serves a purpose. There is a purpose that we can see with our own eyes. There is a purpose that we can detect. But still there is an ultimate purpose that puts everything in the right context. And this is uh, it is the fact that all human beings are created to be tested in this world. And uh, the whole world, the whole universe is created to be at their service in order to help them understand the greatness of their creator and the wisdom behind their creation. So Allah says, didn't you see that Allah created the heavens and the earth in truth? And if Allah wishes, He can get rid of you. He can destroy you and come with a new creation, come with a different creation. And this is not difficult for Allah. It's easy for Him. Then Allah talks about some of the events that will happen in the hereafter. And here Allah draws our attention to the fact that every human being is responsible for himself. You are, you are responsible for your own choices and you will deal with the consequences of your actions and of your choices. So Allah says on the day of judgment they will be brought before Allah. All of them, none will be hidden from Allah. None will be able to hide from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the weak ones, the followers will say to their leaders, to the people who, were, who, who, were, who had power over them, they will say to, to, say to them, you have led us astray. We were just followers to you. So can you help us today? Can you avail us today? Can you save us from the punishment today? Because we, we followed your own choices. You decided for us what to do. You decided to us what course to follow. You decided to us you know, what way to take. So are you going to help us today? Can you benefit us? Can you avail us? Because it's your own choice. It wasn't our own choice. We were only followers. So the people in power will say to them, if Allah had guided us, we would have guided you. But we were misguided and you followed us. Then shaitan will come on that, at that moment. Shaitan will come to everybody in this, in this world especially the disbelievers, he will come to them and he will say to them, وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانُ لَمَّا قُضِيَ الْأَمْرِ And just before that, the disbelievers will say, or the leaders of the disbelievers will say to them, you know, now whether we you know, feel sorrow now, whether we are immersed in remorse or not, it's not going to change the situation. We have lost it. We have no hope now. Whether you, you know, uh, reprimand us, whether you blame us for what happened or you blame it all on us, it's not going to benefit you. You will end up in, in, in the hellfire like we will end up in the hellfire. Yes, these were or those were our choices, but you followed us and that was your choice. So you have to be responsible for your own choice. Now a shaitan comes, وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانُ لَمَّا قُضِيَ الْأَمْرُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعْدَ الْحَقِّ Shaitan will say to all the disbelievers and all the sinners, Allah has promised you a promise of truth. He told you, obey me and you will end up in, in paradise. Disobey me and you will go to the hellfire. Clear, very, very clear in the Quran and in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Allah has promised you in truth. And he made it clear to you. And I made a, a promise to you. Yes, I whispered to you, I promised you that you will get this and you will get that. You will not be blamed for sin. Do that, enjoy yourself, don't worry about the hereafter. There is no life after death. And different whispers and lies and promises that he has given human beings. Those who listened to his, those who trusted shaitan more than they trusted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shaitan will say this to them. Allah promised you a promise of truth and I promised you, but I broke my promise. It was a lie. It was a lie. But he said, I had no power, I had no control over you. وَمَا كَانَ لِيَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانِ I had no power over you. I didn't force you to obey me. 
You chose to obey me. You chose to trust me. You chose to trust my promises. And that was your own choice. So deal with the consequences of your own choice. I didn't have any power over you. I only whispered. I only gave you offers and promises. And you took them. You trusted them. So that was your own mistake. That was your own fault. فَلَا تَلُومُونِي وَلُومُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Blame yourselves. Don't blame me. You see, those people who follow shaitan in this world, they follow their desires, they follow what they love, so they sin and they transgress the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those people on the day of judgment, shaitan will say to them, leave me alone, blame yourself, don't blame me. Don't blame me, you are to be blamed because those were your own choices. And Allah says in the Quran, uh, each person will be judged according to his own actions, according to his own choice. You had the choice in this world to follow shaitan or to trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So which one do you choose? Put your trust in Allah and Allah will give you what he promises you. But the shaitan will say to you on the, on the day of judgment, I've promised you a lie. I lied to you. But don't blame me, blame yourself. Because you chose to follow me. Then he would say, I'm not going to help you. I can't help you today. You can't help me and I can't help you either. There is no point of blaming one another. That's the end of it. You made a grave mistake. You made, you, you made the ultimate mistake in your life. So now you deal with your own choice. I have nothing to do with your own choices. They said, we obeyed you, we followed your way. He says, oh, I have nothing to, th- to do with that. I'm free from that. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, indeed, the wrongdoers, the, those who transgress the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those will have a painful punishment. Then Allah gives us the other side of the story. The believers who trusted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, they turned away from shaitan and his promises. They knew that he was a liar because Allah warned us against him in the Quran. So many verses, the Quran is full with warnings against shaitan. Those believers who believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and did righteous deeds, Allah says, and they were entered into paradise, into gardens beneath which rivers flow by the permission of their creator with the dignity from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they will greet each other with salam, with peace. This is the end of the believers. And that will be the end of the disbelievers. So from now on, when someone tells you to do something wrong, whether it be your father, your mother, your brother, your friend, and even if it's your society, your country, the society in which you live, it has its own force on you. There are many mistakes around in the society. Many people say, we can't go against the tide. We, we just, you know, we flow with the tide. We go with the people. People do wrong things. People do fornicate. People deal with riba. People deal with haram. People backbite. You know, we just, with the people. You know, we are part of the society. You know, if you do that on the day of judgment, they will say to you, we cannot benefit you. You would say, well, we were followers. We were with you. We couldn't, you know, swim against the tide. They would say to you, Shaitan will come to you and will say, ma ana bi musrikhikum, wa ma antum bi I can't help you, and you can't help me. You know, you made your own choices, so you be responsible for that, and you have to deal with the with the consequences of your own choice. So this is something we have to reflect on. We have to reflect that you are responsible for your own self. Nobody is going to benefit you on the day of judgment. What you choose. Or which course you follow to, ch- you choose to follow in this world, you will be held responsible for that. So make sure that you make the right decisions, and that you follow the the course, or you follow the course of action that will lead you to paradise. Because nobody would help you on the day of judgment. Everybody will disown you. Everybody will say, "I'm free from you." So if we benefit from those verses by taking this lesson, this would be a great achievement. Hopefully, inshallah, next time we will take more lights. From the wonderful book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we'll try to benefit from it and practice it in our lives. Until we meet then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.